Good morning, everyone. Today is April 14th, uh, 2021, and today I'm going to be sowing some seeds out into the garden, direct sowing, and as well as updating you on my pepper plants that I uh, topped the head off, or chopped the head off of the pepper plants um, probably about a week or two ago. They are getting so bushy and so nice. I've never done this before, but I know a lot, a lot, a lot of people do it. And so far I am a, I'll probably do this every single time. Um, so last time I told you I was just gonna do maybe like half and leave some to compare, but I'm pretty sure I went ahead and did them all because I'm crazy. And <laughs> I'm so glad I did though, because every single one of these peppers have gotten so bushy and so thick like they look good okay i'll show you look at that look i mean she is thick okay <laughs> this is a shishito pepper I cannot believe how bushy they got. Look, look at this one. This one's even bigger. Another shishito. Oh, it's so beautiful. They look all just amazing and thick and healthy. And then right here, I got more pepper plants. I got a fan going. I'm going to turn it off for a second so you can hear me. Look at my noodle beans. Actually, these aren't noodle beans. These are rattlesnake pole beans. And then six uh, bush beans. We got purple dove. And then, what is that one? Blue lake bush over there. But anyways. So look at all these pepper plants that are doing amazing they're so, these are banana peppers. I got peppercini peppers, banana peppers, Craig's grande jalapenos, um, shishito peppers back there, more banana, more peppercini. I got nata pino peppers too, which are heatless. Uh, they're like heatless jalapenos for the kids. And I also have habanadas. And look at these, these are more. These are the ones that I'm saving for my friend. Mm. And look how bushy they are getting. I'm just so in love. Here's some more natapinos, habanadas. The habanadas are really, they're like short little, little dudes, every single one of them. But yeah, so excited. Okay, I'm gonna start hardening off all of my pepper plants this week because I, me and the kids are gonna go visit some family. My best friend actually called me up and she was like, I miss you, come visit, I'll pay for a ticket. So we went half on tickets and I'm gonna go visit her and some family and let them meet our newest baby, Theo. So I'm gonna start hardening off my pepper plants today. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be doing these tomato plants yet. They can still get a little bit bigger before I try to start hardening them off and transplanting them, but they're all doing really good. These are little micro, micro orange top hat uh, tomatoes, I think. These are all tiny little micro ones. Got some basil, more basil. This is leaf basil, lettuce leaf basil. And then right here I got some more flowers and then I finally sewed. So all of the things I'm gonna be sewing today, I also started them just in case as a backup. But today I'm gonna to be direct sewing all of the things right here. So I got cucumelons, Chinese red noodle beans, kajari, butternut squash, uh, loofah gourd, zucchini, silver slicers. Yeah, 
and I'm gonna do some more of, uh, of these beautiful flowers too and start my sunflowers. And this peony thing I bought the other day just because of, I wanna see if I could revive it if I planted it out. I don't think it's too cold. And our frost day is supposed to be, well, it keeps changing, but it was April 10th and then it moved to April 15th and tomorrow's the 15th. So the 10 day forecast is looking really good. Nothing is under like 45 degrees at night. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm just going to try to plant, transplant this out and see if it comes back. And if it doesn't, it's fine. I'm going to get some more later on, but I am super excited to finally officially start direct sowing seeds into the garden. So let's get to it. So a lot has happened since I last posted or last in a video and I apologize for that, but it's just been crazy around here lately. Um, I wanted to show you guys the potato plants that I planted a few weeks back, probably like four weeks back. They all sprouted. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Look at those babies. Every single one of them came up besides one right here which I am completely fine with. It might still come up. I can still give it a still give it a chance to let it come up. But every single one of them sprouted. I'm so happy. Look how good these onions and garlic is doing. I know I have weeds, you guys. It's fine. I'm gonna get in here and weed probably today. Later on. But I just wanted to show you guys all of these potato plants. I'm going to come in here. Once they get a little bit taller, I'm going to come in here and uh, mound the sides up on all of them. But yeah. Okay. So I had, remember those huge tomato plants that I had earlier? Well, I started them obviously too soon and they all got really really root bound they just wanted to be in the garden so they started dying and wilting um, next year I will know to not start my pepper or not start my tomato plants with my peppers to wait two or three weeks longer before I start my tomatoes because they did not make it to the um, to the plant cell like I was hoping, but I went ahead and tried to save what I could. I gave some to my neighbor Wayne, um, and I'll show you where I put them. See how they're doing? They're still. I don't know. I'm probably if they don't start looking any better and healthier, I'm probably gonna rip them up once the other starts are ready to be put in the garden. Look, I got weeds everywhere. That's okay. Some of them are looking really good. Like this one looks sturdy. That one's not even, it doesn't even have support like this one does. Look at my rhubarb. It was bolting earlier. Um, I cut the little flower off of the stalk right here because it was bolting, but that's okay. I guess that's normal. All you have to do is come and snip it off with some scissors and then it'll keep growing. So I'm super happy. I still have my rhubarb and look at my beautiful lettuce. Well, that tomato plant fell over. I need to stick that back up, but that's okay. I got my all of my lettuce starting. I need to start eating some of it. And this one little kohlrabi is taking off. It's getting thick too and healthy. Here's some more lettuce that I direct sowed. Looking amazing. Little bugs are getting to that. I need to cover my beds. Oh, looking great. And here is the start of some poppies coming up. 
Look at my peas. Looking good and healthy and strong. Got more peas on this side. Looking good. More flowers right here. The spinach and kale. And one thing, one thing I am so excited about is I direct sowed some of this chamomile and it's actually sprouting. It looks so good and so healthy. Look at this. That is Zloty chamomile. And there's weeds, I'll buy it in a bit. All of this healthy growth chamomile in my garlic bed that is also weedy but that's okay it happens and my onions are doing really good onions onions I don't know <laughs> I threw a G in there pretty sure this is a volunteer sunflower from last season look at my five gallon buckets you guys these are looking so good if anything survives or produces over here it's these three that i want so bad because these are kaolettes and they are so good they're they taste like a brussels sprout but softer and they grow just like a brussels sprout but they're called kaolettes so good look at that spinach this spinach and the spinach that is over there that I just showed you was from the same transplant starts. Same age and everything. But these are doing, this one is doing so much better for some reason. It's wild. Same kale too. This is kale. And cauliflowers. And then cabbage. What oh, cabbage? Alright, got a little sidetracked. Let's go and start some of these, uh, some of these seeds. I absolutely love this time of year. It's so beautiful. All the birds are chirping and the sun keeps staying later and later. So nice makes me actually a lot happier like in the spring and summertime I am just a happier person <laughs> okay so um I don't really have a game plan on where I'm going to be sowing all of these seeds I'm just gonna wing it might not even label I'll try to label but it's just so time consuming and I'm trying to do all this stuff before um, grandma and my baby comes back from the store so I might just go ahead and direct sow these all willy-nilly and thankfully I have a YouTube channel so I can look back and watch all these videos and know where everything is so <laughs> let's get to it Some Mong Mongolian giant sunflower seeds right here. So you will germinate. And I like to, while I'm direct sowing all these things, get one of these. These are really helpful instead of using your finger to pick holes. Um, that's what I usually do, or just use one of these um, sticks. But I ordered some pots off Amazon and this came with it for free so now I have one of these and they're really useful so far. Doing some Akira sunflowers. These also get really tall. So uh, I think they say 10 feet, 10 feet tall. Doing some right here.
So I just did four right there. These sunflowers are edible. The seeds are edible. And the Mongolian giants that I did over here are also edible. And I really like to plant things. So whenever I plant things, I like them to have a purpose. Um, and sometimes that is not for eating. Sometimes it is just for beauty. So I find that if my garden is beautiful, I will want to work in it more. And it's just another way of motivation for doing all of this hard work because garden can be hard at some time, sometimes especially during the real midst of it in the heat like in June, July, August um, so I find that if my garden looks beautiful and I want to be in it I'll do more work and be more productive so I like to plant things that are edible but also for the beauty. And these are both. I'm gonna go ahead and stagger in some candy cane zinnia mix along with it. Um, since these are huge, they'll get really tall, really big, I can have these all around it. And it'll just be beautiful way up, up top and at the bottom. Sprinkle them. Like that. Like that. I'm gonna throw in some black eyed Susans and cosmic candy mix as well. And what I like to do is line the edges of my beds with flowers. So um, it's just right when you walk out, you can see them and it's beautiful. I put some Black Eyed Susans, some sunflowers, and some zinnias, and then more sunflowers right here. And I'll probably do the same to this side as well. Okay. Ooh, this Cherokee sunset though, isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna throw some in somewhere. I'm gonna throw some in right here too. Before I do anything else. These little ones like this, the ones that I just did, they all say about an eighth of an inch. So you don't want to barely, you just want to barely take a hole for them on the top of the soil and then just barely cover them back up. And then these seeds are so tiny. See how tiny those are?
Next, I'm gonna be doing some okra. I love okra. Um, I got burgundy okra right here and some Alabama red okra. Um, they get huge. The first year I grew these, last year, I tried to grow them in pots on my front porch. They did produce, they did okay, but they got massive and they get even more massive if you don't try to grow them in a pot. Apparently they get like seven feet tall, six or seven feet tall, and they just take up a whole bunch of space. So this time I'm going to be putting them in the garden in the bed, or I'm gonna be putting them in my garden in ground, and I think because they get so massive, I'm not quite sure on what to do with them. Since I'm going to be ripping these onions up um, little by little over the next two months or so, I think I'm going to sow my okra in the onion bed because by the time I am done with my onions growing, these okra will be just starting to get up and getting tall. So I'm trying to work with little space and produce as much as I can. So that's the goal. That's the plan. So I'm going to be doing Alabama red okra on this side and I'll probably do the burgundy okra on this side that way I only have to write uh, to label two rows and I'll know what they are and they all say to plant them 18 inches apart and one inch deep so what I will do is start one here Drop it in, cover up, and then go about 18 inches apart right here, and just make a zigzag all the way across. So here, 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 and so on. So, me and my mother-in-law are the only ones basically who like okra. Um, my husband does like it, but he likes it pickled. So, 12 okra plants will be plenty for, well, I guess my youngest daughter, she likes okra too. So, 12 plants will be plenty for my little family. Big family, actually. Okay, so... I am going to be sowing these blue lake bush beans and purple dove bush beans. They're, the bush beans are something that stays small, like a bush. Um, the difference between bush and pole beans are obviously the beans that are bush beans stay as a bush and the pole beans are climbing, they're viners, so they will I'm going to plant some right here and they will just go all the way up this trellis. So I'm going to be doing these along this bed right here by my tomatoes. And these say to do them four inches apart. So just going to take, let's do the purple dove bush beans first. Handful and just do them four inches apart. So make a hole here. What do they say? It says one inch deep, half an inch to one inch deep. So here, 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 
here. I'm just going to do five of each variety. And cover it up. Okay. Purple bush beans done. Purple dove. And they say to soak them overnight before you plant them, but I personally never do that and I always have good germination. So I just skip that step. You can do what you want, but if it works without soaking, I figure it's one less step to do. And then do five of each. I'm also going to be planting two, two here, one of each kind. Actually, make the space a little bigger and do the what they call what do they call it? I think it's called the block spacing or block planting. So since they need to be four inches apart do one, two, three, and four. Five and six. So we'll have three, three of them each. Blue light. Three blue lake here. And three purple dove here. Okay, so right here, we're doing the zucchini. The zucchinis get huge, so I'm gonna leave a lot of space for that. I'll probably do two plants, maybe one right here and one right here. And then Chinese red noodle beans right here. Butternut squash right here. I'm going to be doing this loofah gourd. I'm super excited about this. I've never grown these before. I just want to do it just because I think it's fun. Um, these are actually bath loofahs. You can actually dry them out and use them in your home. So that's super cool. We're doing those here. Silver slicer, slip, oh my gosh. Silver slicer cucumbers. Right here. These tomato plants are actually doing really good. I was gonna rip these out because I wanna put those cucumbers here, but I don't know, I'm gonna see how well they do. <laughs> I'm still gonna plant these here though. They're doing so good already. And then here's the pole beans, rattlesnake pole beans. Right here. 
Chinese red noodle beans need to be sewn six inches apart, so I'm going to be doing probably three or four, six inches apart. Doing four. Four of these beans. Okay. Butternut squash. This is 18 to 36 inches apart. So I'm just gonna sew to make sure they germinate. I'll probably sew three and then thin them out just to be sure. But I definitely don't need three. One, eight, one inch deep. Doing four. Did four here. I'm just gonna. I am gonna take this tomato plant out. It was dying. And I'm gonna do my loofah. Just gonna do the same thing with this. Make sure they germinate. I'll just do extra and then thin them later. Go ahead and do a zucchini over here. Last year I grew only two yellow squash a hand. We had so much squash, it was not even funny. I had no clue what to do with it all. So this year, this year I'm only going to zucchini. <laughs> Silver slicers. Okay, I'm just gonna have to pull these. Dang it. Oh, that one came out so good. What is this one? Dr. Witchies. I'm gonna go transplant it. <laughs> I don't wanna waste this plant, so I'm gonna go transplant it somewhere else. Half an inch deep. And these are the silver slicer cucumbers. Jerry Millens. And last but not least, the pole beans. Okay. Okay. That is all that I have done today. I am so glad you guys came along with me. Um, if you learned anything, just let me know in the comments and have a good day.